Hello and welcome back. We're here with our Tesla coil again. Uh, when I first built this a couple weekends ago, it was 30 watts. Uh, what we've done here is we've gone ahead and upgraded it. We'll go ahead and show you here. First thing we did was we pulled this uh, this transformer out of it. This one was 3,500 volts at 8 milliamps. We've replaced it with this one, which is 5,000 volts at 30 milliamps. So that gives us quite a bit more oomph uh, for our Tesla coil. In order to handle that oomph, we've also made the spark gap quite a bit larger. You can see here and the spark gap design is a dual gap design. It's got three different pipes, two fixed on the outside and one on the inside that can ride up and down and has springs underneath it uh, to, to keep the gap adjustable. Uh, it's very similar to the old design which was brass and smaller pipes um, which was fine for 30 watts but there's no way it was going to handle 150. We have not yet upgraded our our capacitors um, to be larger so theoretically we could make this coil more powerful uh, still by uh, putting larger capacitor in. Right now this is running 0 0.0094 uh, microfarads which is about 60 percent of resonant so we could uh, we could almost double the size of the capacitor um, and get more power out of it uh, but we haven't done that yet. Anyway uh, that's outlines the changes we've made and uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. So as you can see, the Tesla coil runs pretty good on the new transformer. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Uh, one final note, I will be shielding both the uh, spark gap and the capacitors. I've got this black Kydex sheeting. It works pretty good for that kind of stuff. Um, but we shield the spark gap because it emits a good amount of hard ultraviolet radiation, which is really bad for your eyes. And then we shield the capacitor bank because uh, there is a risk of the capacitors exploding if the voltage gets too high or if something goes wrong. And we don't want something to fall in and short out the capacitor leads or any of that as well. So, so aside from shielding those two portions of the Tesla coil, I would consider this one complete. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching and until the next time.